Hello friends, in this video, let's quickly talk about how to check the SQL server name and how to connect to that SQL server name and what is the version of the server which we are working currently in our daily life. In the previous video, I talked about how to do the installation on a Windows machine. Now, we need to, first of all, we need to know the server name or instance name then only you can connect to the SQL Server through a SQL Server Management Studio or through a command prompt or through any any way. So first of all, how to check the SQL Server name. So if you install on the same machine, then it's very easy to identify a server name. But if you install in a different machine, assume it you are in the LAN network or in the network, you install the uh, SQL Server in one machine but you are trying to connect from different server or different laptop then you may need to know the exact name. But when you are trying on the same machine then it's very easy to identify the name of the instance or name of the server you gave during the installation. So let me quickly show you that. So let's uh, since I installed the SQL Server on the same machine and I am trying to connect from the same machine then how can I identify the name of the SQL Server. So you can give whatever the name you want. Ideally, we do give name of the computer we give. But there is an option to change the name. And if you are trying to install multiple instances, then obviously you need to give a little different name for first instance to second instance. In a server, with a name, we can create only one instance, one server. If you want a second instance, then you need to give a different name. Okay, so by default, it, it come up with a MS SQL server. You can change the name even that as well. So let me quickly show you like how to identify a server name. And even I installed only one instance of SQL server on my machine. That is SQL server 2019. That's the recent version which is running in the market. So let me quickly go to there. So let me quickly go here and uh, connect to the uh, SQL server management studio. Here I am going to identify what is the name of the server which I kept during the installation. So by default, it, it came up with my server name, but assume there is nothing is coming out. I'm trying for the first time. It will come like this. Okay. So here you, you can see a drop down here. Let's expand this drop down. Here you will see browse for more. Let's select this browse for more. Here you can see the multiple options, database engine, analysis services, reporting services, integration services, Azure SSIS integration runtime. So currently I don't have any of these. That is the reason why I, I don't have a plus symbol for analysis services, reporting services and other options. I have a plus symbol only for the database engine. I got like this. So let me expand this database engine. Once I expand this, I can see how many instances of SQL Server has been installed. So I did only one time. That's the reason why I can see only one name. So if I have two instances of SQL Server, then I'll get the two names here. Three, three names, five, five names, I'll get it. So this is my name of the SQL server. I gave it. So now you can give this name to somebody else who is there in the uh, same network. They can connect if they have a permissions. So let's select this and click on OK. And here Windows authentication, SQL authentication, and you have Azure Active Directory and Azure Active Directory password and integrated. <laughs> it depends. We'll talk about one by one slowly at later stages. Select a Windows authentication. Let's click on connect. So when you select Windows authentication, you do not need to enter username or you don't need to provide a password. It takes my user ID from a, a login um, Windows credentials and it checks for the uh, privileges. If this particular user, venka-pc slash venka, if, if this user has a permissions on this SQL server, then it automatically connects when I click on connect. Yes, it has a privileges. So what kind of privileges we can see at later stage. So at least if you have a select privilege, if you have a connect privilege, then you can at least connect it based on the privilege level. You can do the operations here. So I see this is my computer. I'm the admin of the SQL server. I can do whatever I want. Even as a normal user also, you can uh, you can log in into this PC and you can see. So this is how you can identify the server name and this is how you can connect to the SQL server for the first time uh, once you do the installation. Then how to identify the version name? See, people ask you what version of SQL Server you are connecting. Okay, so here, uh, since you can connect, um, see, this is SSMS I have, but originally what version of server has been installed? 
Okay, so SSMS cannot decide, cannot tell you by looking at the SSMS itself. So you need to provide a command. For example, you are in the LAN network, you are connecting to a SQL server which is there in your um, network. So SSMS can be of any version. Okay, so you can connect to that server and you can do operations. If somebody asks what version you are using uh, in SQL server is, so you, you again you, you can use SQL 2012 or you can use SQL 2018, you can use 2017, 2016 or 2019. Okay, and even apart from these versions, we have again different um, version in the same number, standard and uh, express and uh, uh, enterprise like this. So they will ask you what kind of version you are using, how to identify that. So SQL will give you one command to identify a version of the SQL. Okay, so let's simply type at it version. See, intelligence is enabled in SQL 2019 as well. Okay, so just uh, type this command, select at it version. So once you're done with the command, let's type execute it. So now you can read this. So here, Microsoft SQL Server 2019 RTM 15.0.2000.5 x64 September 24, 2019. So this one copyright Microsoft uh, Corporation Developer Edition. I told you that it is a developer edition when I was doing the installation. On Windows Home 10, this is my OS. On Windows Home 10, 10 10.0. So build number is this. So this is how you need to identify the version number and you can tell to the people. Okay, so now, so by looking at this SSMS, you cannot tell what version of SQL Server is original. Okay, SSMS can be off. I can use SSMS previous version also. So if you want to identify what is the SSMS version. So let's quickly connect to the SSMS and in the help icon, just click and click on about. So once you click on about, you can see the so version yes, SQL Server Minimum Studio. Version number is 15.0.18384.0. But if you see the original is this one. So this can be anything actually this one. So that's the reason why SSMS can be of different version. Original SQL Server of different version. So you need to see and you need to identify the real version by using this command. And also let me click again about. You can see your operating system also. You can see your .NET Framework. You can see all these all. Okay, so this is a developer version I am using uh, for my practice and for my examples. So that's how you identify and that's how you uh, connect and check the versions. That's all about it. If you have any questions, please drop your question in the comment section. I'll try to answer as soon as possible. Also, thank you for watching. Thank you.